throughout history, we have designed and developed technologies to further our exploration capabilities, both within our home planets and across the vast expanse of space. In this season of An Interloper's Guide, we will explore technology inspired by the natural world and meet some of the creatures responsible for our own technological advancements. Thank you to all our subscribers, and if you haven't already, remember to join the tribe so that you don't miss an episode of this season. Welcome to an interloper's guide to biomimicry, Volcanic Worlds. This is Enotrip Minor, a lava planet found within Hub 9-31, the Badosh 6 system. The entirety of its surface is dominated by active volcanoes that routinely spew lava onto its cracked plains, filling the air with ash and toxic fumes. Life is hard on this planet, yet seven animal species endure its extreme conditions, using adaptations perfected over millennia to survive. The first of the many challenges these volcanic worlds present is perhaps the most obvious, the extreme heat. Enotrip Minor's surface temperature averages around 58 degrees, rising to above 800 degrees where heated gas pockets escape from crevasses in the ground. These superheated areas, though hostile to most life, support a creature so well adapted that it inspired the design of advanced cooling systems still in use today. This is Slashdiverse, a member of the Basoptera genus, first documented by the Galactic Hub Exobiology Corps. Slashdiverse can reach heights of up to 7.1 meters, ranking second largest species of Basoptera, so far recorded on the GHEC's creature list. The intimidating size of this herbivore wards off most predators leaving the planet's extreme heat as their main challenge for survival. Areas where Enotrip Miner's temperatures are greatest support the highest population of Mordite roots found in the Cyves instability, where they serve as the sole component of Slashdivis' diet. Mordite roots are a greatly sought after commodity, not only by Slashdivis, but by interlopers as well, owing to their varied uses throughout many industries. Slashdivis' highly specialized exoskeleton provides ample heat resistance when harvesting these plants, thanks to a unique supercooling quality seen nowhere else in nature. Decades of study by local scientists provided insight into the inner workings of this material, and their findings led to the design of many heat protection technologies in use today. The outermost layer of Slashdivis' exoskeleton is covered with billions of microscopic triangles, made from a highly reflective material that deflects both light and heat. These microscopic triangles are arranged like fish scales across the entirety of its body, a design that allows heat to dissipate quickly. As a result, the creature's body remains a comfortable 30 degrees, just under 800 degrees cooler than the planet's most extreme temperatures. This design has been successfully implemented in exosuit cooling systems, affording interlopers full protection when exploring high temperature planets. An ability to stay cool in volcanic environments is not the only inspiration that nature has provided us. This is Arrowleg, a volcanic planet found in the arm of Catius region of hub space. It maintains the closest orbit to the system's trinary stars, 
resulting in increased geothermal activity on its surface. Its parched landscape is ravaged by regular incendiary winds that wipe any water from its surface, preventing the permanent formation of lakes or pools. Any temporary sources of water that do remain contain toxic levels of sodium carbonate, among other hazardous materials, lifted from Aralegs volcanic soil. The animals here have adapted to survive on little to no water, but of all these, only one has developed the unique ability of creating their own supply. This is Graspiconia, a large member of the Loch genus. The species feed exclusively on dehydrogen crystals that form in abundance on Aralegs blistered surface, and it is this diet that is key to their success. During the digestion process, these crystals are broken down into base materials, producing a large quantity of hydrogen. The remaining materials are absorbed into the blood and converted into energy, leaving the hydrogen to be filtered into a secondary specialized stomach called a reticulum. When a large enough supply has been accumulated, grass baconia fill their third stomach with liquid oxygen which they gather with specialized feelers located on the top of their heads. By mixing this hydrogen and oxygen together on a molecular scale within their highly advanced third stomach, they can create their very own supply of water. This technique has ensured the continued survival of the grass baconia species on our leg for generations and sparked the creation of another technological advancement inspired by nature. All modern exosuits are capable of being equipped with additional technology modules that enable a variety of benefits to its wearer. The advanced hydration module, one of the many that make up the life support systems, contains technology mimicking the design of Grass Baconia's third stomach on a much smaller scale. It allows an exosuit to passively absorb oxygen from the atmosphere to mix with hydrogen source from life support gel that must be replenished regularly. Once mixed, it provides an interloper with a fresh source of water, a welcome relief when exploring waterless volcanic worlds. Unlike grass baconia, our exosuits are incapable of storing large quantities of water, though they can perform the process almost instantaneously, effectively eliminating the need for storage altogether. Highly advanced biometric sensors regulate water production, ensuring interlopers only get the water they need without overdraining the suit's life support charge. Grass Baconia are a highly protected species under constant sensor surveillance, owing to their unique natural ability to create water. Interlopers wishing to visit Araleg to see the species in its natural habitat are advised to keep clear of patrols and observe the creatures from a safe distance. Nature has been perfecting her designs for millennia, long before interlopers even began to colonize space. By mimicking her creations, we have expanded our technological capabilities, gaining access to some of our most hostile environments. Join us next episode as we explore the ethereal beauty of toxic lands and the strange animals that inspire the technology we use today. Thank you for watching, especially if you made it to the end. And as always, have fun, stay safe, and most importantly, be curious.